Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I want to talk about notation for partial differential equations. Especially the notation is going to be used in this book a lot. So um, if we're talking about functions, so let's say we have a function. It's a function f, f of x. That means we have a function with, I don't know, that's dependent on x. We have all types of you know, things going on, but the only variable that we have to worry about is x. So like 2x, you know, minus cosine x. That would be a function of x. In partial differential equations, we talk about functions, but it's usually multivariable functions. So we might have something like f of x, y. That means that our function is dependent on more than one variable, two variables in this case, x and y. So we can have a function, for example, that has you no know, square root of 3x plus y um, plus 5xy squared book uses a lot the letter u for its functions so for example u of xy right u is just the name of the function um, u of xy let's try this for example u of xy is equal to 5x squared y minus 3x y to the fourth plus sine x when we take the partial derivative remember we're taking derivative of the function with respect to one of the letters oh no partial derivative of x or partial derivative of y while treating the other letter as a constant or the other variable as a constant. So in this case, if I want to take the partial derivative of u, we can use the notation del, right? Del u, del, I mean del, del x. So I would apply del, del x to u of x, y, and do the same on the other side as well. So I would get del, del x and then all this stuff here now this part here which just becomes del u del x so it's saying you're taking the partial derivative of the function u with respect to x so that means if you have the other variables you treat them as the other variables you treat them as constants so here we're going to take the derivative of this expression, this polynomial, and we're going to get, let's see, oh, this becomes u, right? So this u just goes in there. Um, let's see, del, del x of this expression. So we're going to take the derivative of x and treat y as a constant. So just think back to your multivariable class, multivariable calculus class. So this is going to be 5, oh, my bad, it's going to be 10x y. I right? bring down the 2, multiply times 5, subtract 1. Here, through x to the power of 1, bring down the 1, take away 1, so it's just minus 3 y to the fourth, because y is treated as a constant. And then for the last one, um, the derivative of sine is cosine, so plus cosine x. So that is the partial derivative of u with respect to x. Like that. Now let's say I want to take the partial derivative of u with respect to y instead. So in this case, let's move this over here. So in this case, I would have once again del del x of u x y. I mean del del y. Right, we're going with deriv partial derivative of y. So del del y of Again, yeah, the same expression, except that this time we're going to take the derivative with respect to y and treat x as our constant. So let's see, we're going to take uh, the left hand side just becomes del u del y. That's going to be equal to, so let's see, we're going to take the derivative of, we're going to take the derivative of 5x squared with respect to y. So we treat this as a constant, y to the power of 1, that just becomes 1, so 5x squared. Um, partial derivative of this term, bring down the y, so that's negative 12x, y to the third. And then finally, this is a function, I mean a term of x. So that's just a constant, and the derivative of a constant is going to be 0. So this will be del y, del u, del y. 
Now I bring this up because there's a lot of, in this book we use a lot of shorthand notation. Whenever we're talking about the derivative of u with respect to a certain variable, we actually just use the following um, notation. So this actually becomes u of y. And you can bring this down as well. So that means that u of y is just shorthand notation for del u del y. This means that you're taking the partial derivative of u with respect to y. And the other expression, this would become u of x, u of y. u of x is equal to 10xy minus 3y to the power of 4 plus cosine x. So in either case, again, it tells you what expression you're working with. In this case, we are working with the function u. Right, so here's u. And here we're taking respect derivative of u with respect to x. And in this one, we're taking derivative of u with respect to y. So again, I just want to make sure I clear up this notation. And basically, uh, to summarize, it just means that del u del x is the same as u of x. And del u del y the same as u of y. Again, I will be using that throughout um, throughout these videos because that's the notation that this book uses, del u, del y. Um, del u, del x equals u of x, del u, do, del y equals u of y. Uh, let's try one more example on taking partial derivatives. u is equal to cosine x squared plus y plus x y to the third plus x squared. Now, if I want to find u of x, right? remember that means that's the same thing as del u del y, I mean del u del x. So just taking the derivative of u with respect to x and treating y as a constant. For the first part, we need to apply the chain rule. So first off, let's see the derivative of cosine that's going to be negative sine. So negative sine, the inside stays the same. And we're going to multiply this times the derivative of the inside. So remember, we're applying the derivative with respect to x. So this is just going to be 2x. Go on to the next term. We're treating y as a constant. So we can just take the derivative of x. So it's going to just be y to the third. And lastly, this is going to be 2x. We need to simplify a little bit. This 2 goes to the front because it's a constant. So a negative 2x sine x squared plus y plus y to the third plus 2x. So that's the partial derivative of u with respect to x. Now let's move on to the partial derivative of u with respect to y. So let's see. So u of y is going to be... So again, derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine x squared plus y times the derivative of the inside with respect to y. In this case, um, that's a constant that goes away, and we take the derivative of y, which is just 1. Derivative of y with respect, derivative with respect to y, so we bring down the 3. So plus 3xy to 2. And then we are taking the derivative with respect to y. In this case, x will be a constant, so that would be that term just goes away. Now we clean things up a bit, and we get negative sine x squared plus y plus three x y squared. So that's basically it for this video. I just want to make sure that we understand the notation, and that being um, u of x is the same thing as del u del x and u of y is equal to del u del y. Right, so hope that helps out. Again, if you like this video or you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.